Welcome to our presentation on the pre-anesthetic agents. So this presentation will basically focus on the sedatives and tranquilizers, particularly the benzodiazepines. Yeah, these are the groups of tranquilizers and sedatives that are used as pre-anesthetic agents. So we have the phenothiazines, the benzodiazepines, and the alpha-2 adrenergic agonists. Benzodiazepines are considered to be tranquilizers. They are controlled substances, meaning that uh, they are drugs that are regulated because they can cause abuse or addiction. So you have three uh, common examples of benzodiazepines. We have the diazepam, sulazepam, and the midazolam. It has a rapid onset and a short duration of action. Its use is considered to be off-label, particularly that of diazepam. An approved use of an approved drug is considered to be off-label use. So it is thought to exert their effects by releasing GABA. GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system, particularly in the brain. Uh, diazepam and sulazepam can also be used as an appetite stimulant in cats or to correct inappropriate urination. So these are the pharmacological effects of the benzodiazepines for the central nervous system. So they are calming and they are anti-anxiety only in old and ill patients. So when we say anti-anxiety, of course, they reduce anxiety. Uh, the other term for this is that they are anxiolytic. Uh, they are not as uh, an analgesic. No, they are not effective analgesic agents, meaning that they do not reduce pain. So they are also anticonvulsants. They are primarily used in animals having seizures to help stop seizures. For the cardiovascular and the respiratory system, they have minimal effect and they have a high margin of safety. These drugs, however, if you have a highly compromised animal, you have to be careful when giving these drugs. Especially when it comes to the respiratory system, you have to really watch for respiratory depression, just like any other anesthetics. Uh, it is also produces skeletal muscle relaxation, so it has, it provides you know, an exceptional or excellent muscle relaxation. So of course, uh, these are used you know, for patients with seizures, uh, particularly uh, when we say seizures, that is basically muscle contraction. So if you have something to provide a potent muscle relaxation, then that's going to help to stop seizure, you know, benzodiazepines. They also potentiate the general anesthetics. So what it means is that the general anesthetics work better with benzodiazepines. It will work better if you already have a benzodiazepine on board, which means, again, we can look at the decrease of the dose of the anesthetic agent. So that is a balanced no anesthesia. In cats and cows, it can uh, actually use diazepam for appetite stimulant. So just a little side note, um, not necessarily anesthesia related, but it doesn't work on dogs for that. So it only works for cats and ruminants, particularly for cattle. These are the adverse effects of the benzodiazepine. So we start with the CNS. It can cause disorientation and excitement. So again, the excitement is one of the paradoxical effects of this drug. And young, healthy dogs sometimes can get into this reaction. We also have in cats, they can develop, um, when you give, for example, midazolam, they can have this, again, paradoxical excitement and dysphoria. When we say dysphoria, that is a state of being unwell. You know, there is distress and also aggression, which is a violent behavior. So in clinical practice, most of the time, when clinicians use diazepam and or midazolam, for instance, they also have ketamine with them on board. So it can, again, be uh, administered together with ketamine. Um, of course, ketamine you know, is a dissociative anesthetic. You can also use, uh, there is also muscle fasciculation as an adverse effect for diazep uh, benzodiazepine. So it can cause muscle fasciculations or muscle twitch in horses. So when we say muscle fasciculation or fasciculation, it's like a kind of mini, mini muscle twitch. It can also cause uh, ataxia or incoordination, and uh, there is also recumbency, particularly in large animals. 
diazepam must be given IV slowly. So, for example, if you're going to give volume, diazepam IV, you do it slowly. Slowly doesn't mean it takes 20 minutes to give a CC. It means you have to take uh, your time to put it into the animal. So it is important to note that uh, oral diazepam in cats can cause liver failure. Again, this is not a common effect. It is one of this uh, uh, idiosyncratic no effect of benzodiazepine, particularly diazepam. Benzodiazepines have been regarded to have a minimal adverse effects for the reversal agent in terms of the uh, in, when there is a development of the adverse effects, we can use flumacinil. Flumacinil is a selective GABA receptor antagonist. Uh, this is not good for animals with liver dysfunction or in C sections. See to the pharmacokinetic properties of the acid pump. So first, it is not water soluble, so it should not be mixed with water soluble drugs, because if you do so, you can get precipitate out of that. Uh, in terms of the storage, so it, it should not be stored in plastics. Also, it should be protected from light. It is usually stored in dark vials. Now, this is true for oral dosage forms of the diazepam. All products should be stored at room temperature, about 15 to 30 degrees centigrade. The injection should also be kept from freezing and protected from light. Uh, in terms of its uh, combination with other drugs, so commonly it is used with ketamine to induce anesthesia in small animals and horses. So in small animals, we call the induction culmination as ketval, meaning uh, it is a combination of ketamine in volume. Volume refers to diazepam. So in terms of the administration with uh, ketamine, it can, diazepam can be given one at a time instead of mixing it with other drugs. So diazepam, for example, can be given first and then ketamine to effect, which is a nice way to do this. Again, it should also be administered IV slowly because rapid injection in small animals may cause cardiotoxicity. The preferred route for the administration of diazepam is slowly IV. Uh, uh, this is important because rapid injection can cause cardiotoxicity or arrhythmias. It can also be mixed with a ketamine. So ketamine is a dissociative anesthetic. So when you are going to mix that, equal volumes in the same syringe, prolonged storage is not recommended, and it can also be absorbed by syringes and IV bags. That is why it is not recommended to be stored in this uh, containers plastics. This is not water soluble, so may precipitate out with other medications. This is the uh, diazepam with uh, the brand name Ilium. So on its caption insert, it reads as benzodiazepine. You know, in terms of its indication, it is used for a variety of um, indications, such as it is an anxiolytic, meaning that it relieves anxiety, it is a muscle relaxant, it is a hypnotic and an appetite stimulant, and anticonvulsant in several species. On its label insert, it it also indicated that it is usually given IV or PO in dogs and horses because it is incompletely absorbed after IM injection. Again, for its uh, label insert, it reads as a C4, meaning that it belongs to the control drug on the fourth category, meaning that it has a low potential for abuse. Adverse effects indicated in the label or in the, the label insert are sedation and ataxia. It may be teratogenic and caution must be given in hepatic or liver disease, debilitated, and geriatric patients. Label insert of the ilium diazepam, it also reads as, uh, for, it is also for use as an anticonvulsant in falls and a pre anesthetic to silicine ketamine, anesthesia in horses. For, it is also uh, for use as a pre anesthetic and anticonvulsant in dogs. Uh, diazepam with ketamine and uh, ketamine is a dissociative anesthetic. These are psychedelic drugs meaning that it can cause hallucination. They are a class of uh, psychoactive substances that produce changes in the perception, mood, and cognitive processes. So they are called as a dissociative anesthetics because this class of drugs causes people 
to feel separated or detached from their body or physical environment. These drugs induce a state of sedation, immobility, amnesia, and marked analgesia. So we are now on midazolam. So when we are going to compare, uh, we in terms of the pharmacokinetic property of midazolam, so it is a water-soluble drug, and um, it's very similar to diazepam except that midazolam again is water soluble diazepam is uh, not water soluble uh, another difference between midazolam and diazepam is that diazepam can cause tissue irritation when given im midazolam doesn't have this problem um, midazolam doesn't also cause inflammation that is caused by diazepam Midazolam can also be given IM or subcutaneously. Now, it can be incorporated more easily into premeds. Uh, midazolam is also considered to be an excellent sedative for swine, ferrets, rabbits, and birds. So in humans, midazolam is reported to wipe away the memories of the individual being subjected to surgery. Midazolam is also reported to be safe in animals with heart disease. It can also be used in combination with ketamine to induce anesthesia in dogs, small animals, and birds. So basically, we can use midazolam instead of diazepam if we wanted to induce anesthesia. From um, ketamine, midazolam can also be administered together with thiopental. So thiopental is a general anesthetic barbiturate. Uh, short-acting barbiturate and also have an opioid. No, opioid is an analgesic drug. So this is midazolam. No, on the label insert of this drug, it says that this is a parenteral benzodiazepine. This is uh, injectable, used primarily as premedicant for general anesthesia. Alone, it does not appear to provide predictable sedation in animals. It can cause a less cardiovascular depression. And the adverse effect that is of most concern is its potential for respiratory depression that is greater than ACE promacine or opioids. Another example is Zolazepam. So Zolazepam is available only as a component of Telesol. So Telesol is the brand name. Uh, this is a powdered product, no Telesol, and it can be reconstituted with sterile water. So it contains the powder form and its uh, diluent. So the again the sulacipam is not available as an individual drug, so available lang siya when it is combined with another uh, anesthetic that is uh, teletamine, no teletamine sulacipam. So again, teletamine is a dissociative anesthetic, just like ketamine, and pharmacologically classified as an NMDA receptor antagonist. Aside from Telesol, we also have Zolitil. So Zolitil is from Verbach. And uh, it, is, it also contains uh, Teletamine. Teletamine is a dissociative anesthetic and Zolazepam is the benzodiazepine. So Zolitil, according to its label insert, is safe and effective dissociative agent that can be used as a sedative tranquilizer for brief anesthesia and for general anesthesia. It can be given IM, IV, and the Solitil 100 can be used in a wide variety of species, wild and domestic cat and dog species. It can be used for a wide variety of procedures such as x-ray, dressing changes, eye examinations, and wound repair. So again, for its active ingredient, it contains the teletamine and solazepam. 